Hello everyone and welcome to the One Class channel. My name is Donna Riel and I'm a recent master's graduate from the Materials Science program from the University of Ontario Institute of Technology, also known as Ontario Tech University. I also took my bachelor's of science at this institution as well in the pharmaceutical chemistry program. Today we're going to go over some commonly asked questions in chemistry at the high school, college, and university level. So if you needed any help with homework or with tutoring, then check out the links in the description below. Now I'm just going to get started on our set of questions for today's session. Okay, so question one states that the density of aluminum is 2,700 kilogram per meters cubed. How many atoms are in a 2.6 centimeter by 2.6 centimeter cube of aluminum? Okay, so this is a multi-step question. You'll notice that the first thing they give us is the density, which is equal to 2,700 kilograms per meter cubed. Uh, they also give us the dimensions of the cube. So the cube dimensions is 2.6 centimeters by 2.6 centimeters. So if we look at the units of the cube dimensions, you'll notice that they are in centimeters, but our density units are in kilograms per meter cubed. So before I do any conversions, um, I want to first convert my cube dimensions to meters, just so that everything is in the same units. So centimeters to meters makes it 0. 0 0.026 meters by 0 0.026 meters. Okay, so like I mentioned earlier, this is a multi-step question. Uh, the first step is to find the volume of the cube. Okay, so this is just a uh, simple math, I'd say. Uh, finding the volume of a cube is just length times width times height. So since we know the dimensions of the cube, which is the 0 0.026 meters by 0 0.026 meters, the volume would just be 0. 0 0.026 meters cubed. So if we were to multiply this all out, actually, maybe I'll just show it if we If this was the 2.6 centimeters and we didn't convert it, just to show how you would convert to centimeters to meters from here. So 2.6 centimeter cubed is equal to 17.576 centimeter cubed. So now I'll add another step of converting centimeter cubed to meter cubed. So if you remember the conversion factor for uh, centimeters to meters, there is 0 0.01 meters 
in one centimeter. And then this whole thing will be cubed. And this gives us a value of 1.758 times 10 to the negative 5 meter cubed. So step 3 is to convert meter cubed to kilograms. So if we recall that our density is 2,700 kilograms per meter cubed, we would just need to multiply our meter cubed value by the density. Okay, so you'll notice that our units for meters cubed will cancel out, and we're left with a value in kilograms, which is 4.75 times 10 to the negative 2. Oh, and this is in kilograms. So now, we want to convert kilograms to grams. So 4.75 times 10 to the negative 2 kilograms. And then multiply by the conversion factor to grams. So there are 1,000 grams in 1 kilogram. And you end up getting 47.5 Okay, so step 5 is to find the number of moles So let's recall that number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass. So the mass is what we found in the previous step, which is 47.5 grams. And the molar mass is the molar mass of aluminum. So if you go to the periodic table, you find it has an atomic mass of 26.982 grams per mole. So if we divide this out, we end up getting number of moles of 1.76 mole. And the last step is to find the number of atoms. So to do this, we just need to multiply our moles by Avogadro's number which is 6.022 times 10 to the 23. And its units are in atoms per mole. So our moles will cancel out, and we're left with a value of 1.1 times 10 to the 24 atoms. Okay, so like I said, this is a multi-step question, but the more you get used to converting, uh, the faster it'll be for to answer a question like this. So the this junior tutor said, to answer this, we perform dimensional analysis. First, we can calculate the volume of aluminum. We convert this volume from centimeter cubed to meters cubed. Then we use the density of aluminum to get its mass in kilograms. We convert this mass into grams and kilograms and use the molar mass of aluminum to get the amounts in moles of aluminum. Lastly, we use Avogadro's number to calculate the atoms of aluminum. The solution is shown below. So here they just showed 
all of these steps in one line. They started off with the uh, finding the volume of the cube, so 2.6 uh, cubed. And then they converted it to meters cubed, then converted it to kilograms, to grams, and then to moles, and then to atoms. And they also got 1.1 times 10 to the 24. So this solution is correct. Okay, so now we...